So I watched the video and then I wanted to do it. And then I took the character you sent me and I realized I had to put all the joints. So I was doing it. It's, it's okay. I mean, like it's, uh, it's long. And, uh, but it's, um, I need more practice, I think. It's gonna take a few times before I really, um, I'm really good with it. Because yeah. now I had to do the joint again this morning and I was much faster. I was like, click, 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 click. But um, I woke up uh, earlier to do the exercise. And uh, because for me, it's eight o'clock right now. Oh, I woke up at six to, to, to do the exercise <laughs> and uh, I cannot wake up at like 4 a.m. to do the exercise. <laughs> so I just, I just need to practice more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so today we'll start with another uh, run cycle. So how to do the run cycle. For that also we need some kind of poses. Uh, mm. So I have this... You find them on, on Google search? Yeah, or you can also uh, get this book called uh, Richard Williams, uh, Animation Survival Kit. Oh, wait, wait, again? I didn't uh, get the name properly. Yeah, uh, one minute. Uh, okay. So, uh, you can avail this book online i think this is really good for if you want to learn some kind of animation you see only the after effect video the the window only of after effect i don't see the name of the the book let me share the full screen yes. yeah, this one Okay. Uh, so this is the book uh, which has all the walk cycle and all these things inside this book which is available online. Uh, okay. You can get this book and uh, all these things, all these images. You can get these images in Google also if you want to go for that. But this book is really good uh, for all the animation if you want to learn inside. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so that is the reference we'll just take from here. So we have certain reference for the run cycle as well. Or if you want to take some kind of video uh, also, so I can also take some kind of pers a video of a person running. I can place that video behind it and then I can just start animating. Yes, yeah, sounds smart. Yeah, so even that will be easy, so you can just trace exactly how that uh, person is running or something. So that is also there. Uh, mm -hmm. You can capture some video where the person is running. Uh, I think YouTube also will get some of the videos of person running or something. So that we can take and then we'll start posing that characters over here. So we have this certain poses. So first pose. Uh, so this is a run cycle will be the half of walk cycle. So it will start from 1 and 13. Uh, so it is the 13 frame uh, run cycle. So run cycle, walk cycle is almost 24 frame and this will be 12, 12 frame. So when you do the run cycle, it will be 12 frame, uh, which is the first. Then here it is 13. First and 13 are same. And on the seventh frame, uh, this is changing. The legs are changing. Okay, so inside the uh, walk cycle uh, at 13th frame, 1 and 24 will be same, 1 and 25 will be same. 13th mm -hmm. frame, the legs are changing, but inside run cycle, uh, it will change at 7th frame. Okay. And the only difference between the run and walk cycle will be at certain frame. Uh, this is the frame, uh, at this frame, the leg will be up, both the legs will be up in the air. So inside walk cycle you will not see this, uh, but inside run cycle, this is what the difference we see between the run cycle and walk cycle. This will change. Only this pose is what it changes inside run and walk. Okay, so we will start posing this. So first frame. So this is my first frame. I just I just keep this image, same image in the background and I will just use that over here. So reduce the opacity of that layer to keep it behind to pose that exactly the same. 
and then I'll just start posing this. So let's work with the body. Press P for position. Give the keyframe for this, and I just want to pose it back. Okay. So even the rotation, you need to adjust. Press R. So first adjust the rotation also for this body. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm just matching exactly the same poses over here. And then uh, we need you to work on this leg also. With, uh, with the walking, you could also have put the picture behind and just adjust. Which one? When we did the, um, the walking, you ah. haven't put the picture behind, but you could have done it also. Yeah, uh, even the same thing you can do for the walk as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so even for this, I can just animate the position. Let's make this little up. How this is and even for the rotation, give the key for the rotation. How the leg will be like this on the ground. Okay. So switch on the poses uh, over here. I think the body has to go a little more down from this picture. This character is a little smaller. Mm -hmm. And this is my ground for this. So uh, what I can do is just move this layer up position. It will up to match at least the leg pose. Mm -hmm. The ground and this also. Let's fix it. Okay, so posing and this is the back click. So again for this press P and R also. So if rotation is there, you can also move with the rotation. Let's move this one. And what all the other controls are there for this? So we have this heel rotation and all this. So I can just do that over here. Okay, so once I move this, uh, you can just see that there is issues over here, so you need to adjust this, so make this zero, mm -hmm. over here, and then I need to rotate this heel also, and uh, give the keyframe for that as well, so uh, even this, switch on the bottom layer, and then I just need to fix this up. Here, so this is and this heel. Until we get that proper pose, mm -hmm. so for one pose itself, it will take a lot of time. Uh, so, even this heel again, I'll uh, give the keyframe for this. So, whatever I can also animate all these keyframes. Because we will require this also in the future when we are animating that. So for this leg also, animate all this and give the keyframe for this also. Mm -hmm. so how much we want to make it straight. This is. this is done, I need to work on this uh, upper, this hand part also. So now I will just select this hand. So this hand control is there and for that also upper arm, lower and goal. So this is what we need to control. So this is the back hand. Mm -hmm. And this is the goal. Goal is nothing but the wrist of the hand. So how we want to do that. So this is fine. Now for this also press, select this hand and give the keyframe for this as well. So now I am just doing the, all the poses, so I am not working only on the leg part, so I am just working on the full body and posing the body fully. Uh, previously in the walk cycle we have animated one by one, now I am just posing everything together mm -hmm. to get that. And go little up. This hand little down. This is also done. 
So our first pose uh, is done and the head, uh, even the head I want to induce, even the head I will just need to animate and the upper body also. So we have certain controls for this as well. So you can just see that we have spine curve. So for this also we have some of the controls which we have and we have the spine root. So this is the root control for the spine and we have this. So if I just press R on the keyboard, we can also have this control for the spine uh, rotation. Okay, so this is one, one more thing is there. So if I just open this uh, controls over here, now we can just see. Mm -hmm. So there are certain data uh, which you can adjust the weight of that for the hip control. So if you want to adjust the hip rotation for that particular character, we can use this. Or this body is fine. Uh, we also have this upper body. So you need to see that uh, when we get this control for that using this particular layers. So we have the root which is parented to this and it and here we can also move this control. You can just see this. I can also animate this. So if you want in a proper arc that spine over here, uh, we can use this position of that. So once you do that, I can adjust it. For now it has to go back. So press P. Just give the position key and let's mm -hmm. move this back. So you need this bend over there, so this is what we have. Now I've done all the keyframes and what I have to do is I have to select on this keyframe and paste at 13th frame. So we have the cycle till 13th frame. So this is the end point of the composition and n is a shortcut to finish it over here. The composition I need to end it over here, so n is a shortcut. Now I can just copy all this keyframe, press U, you can just select all this keyframe for all the controllers, whatever we have done. Control C, Control V. Okay, so I think individually I have to do because it is copying the whole layer. So Control C, Control V. Select this one, copy, paste. Uh, so all these things, what all the animation I have given. So first and last will be same. So I need to make sure that every keyframe which is over here is just copy and paste to this control C control V again all this so this is done uh, so all the keyframes are there if you want to check again so for this head so for the head I didn't give any kind of control for this and for the neck also so what will happen over here is the head has to rotate up you can just see that head is uh, in this direction. So uh, even this head, I need to rotate like this straight. For that. And we also have the neck control for that. So uh, we also have one more control for this is neck. So I need to make sure that even the neck, if you want to animate that, you can also animate that neck. So close this everything. Let's see this neck. If you have that neck control, or I need to adjust this only. Yeah, so this is the shoulder and neck. So press R. Yeah. So this is that control. So you can also animate that control. So give the keyframe for this rotation and make this forward. Head. Just make it. Okay, so this controls also, uh, we need to copy and paste it. Okay, so copy this, control C, first and last frame, paste. And even this. Right, control C, control. Now this is done. Uh, this is the first pose which I have done over here and we can just see that line uh, is fine. Now I need to work on, uh, first and last is done. I have to work on this passing pose. So at seventh frame, what will happen? So seventh frame also the same pose will happen over here uh, inside this, but the legs are going to change. So if I just show that, yeah. so in the seventh is again the contact pose only the leg changes over here and the hand rotation everything will change. So I need to work on that right now. So uh, let's select this leg control now, which are this leg control was there. So let's see this. So press U and this leg control again. 
press U. I need to copy and paste this. Uh, so for this leg, or whatever this position is there at the starting, I need to copy for this leg. Okay. So select this leg, copy this keyframe on this keyframe, control C. Select another leg, control V. And it will go there. Now, and now I need to select the opposite. So select this leg now, foot 2. Copy the first keyframe for this leg, control C. Go to the third, seventh frame and select another leg and paste. So uh, I'm just copying that alternately over here and we have this. So for this leg, I copy this keys and for this leg. So this is again, it is done now for the hand also, I need to do the reverse. So press U, press U. I need to copy all this hand uh, keyframe from this angle. So if I'm just selecting this left hand, so whatever the keys for this hand is there, copy that, control C, paste it for other hand. Mm -hmm. And this key, control C, paste for this. Yeah, so it is done. Uh, so we have done with that uh, poses and seventh keyframe also have done and for this body also. So you need to make sure that this control also, uh, so it will be in the same position. So copy this, control C, control V. So all the keyframes, whatever I have given that, so I need to copy it all the places. Uh, if I have animated the head and neck also, so even that, so whatever the poses will be in the contact pose, I need to copy and paste everything. Control C, Control V, this also. So everything I'm just paint, uh, pasting it over here. So we have that proper three poses, three contact poses we have done. So if I just play this. Okay. So there is no body movement right now because uh, all the uh, body is at the same position during the contact pose. So we just see this one. Okay, so there is no down position for that character. Uh, everything is over here and it is too fast. So that I can slow it down by adding into different composition. So now let's work on this passing pose again. So uh, the passing pose will be at fourth frame over here. So if I just switch on this layer. So what will happen during the passing pose? This one. So this is the passing pose which I need to work on. Uh, so it will happen at fourth and tenth frame. Uh, so where the leg will be down. Okay. And whatever this front leg is there, that should be down over here. So this is what it happens. So whatever the front leg is there, it is going back. Mm -hmm. And we see this pose. Okay. So it will tap it over here. Then the body goes down, and then then this leg is which is going back. So this is what I need to work on fourth frame. So let's work on that pose. Uh, hide this layer. Let's switch on this layer. Whatever the layer I had for this pose. This some of the walk poses are there. Yeah, so I have this pose. So let's select this one. Switch on this. And just change the position of this only in the x-axis. Press P. So this is the position I need to change. Mm -hmm. Just make it here. So the hip control, I just want to keep it in the same place. Yeah, here. And now I need to work on the leg which is coming from the front. This one. Okay, so now I'll just start making that pose. So go to fourth frame. Let's bring this back. This is the foot control. Let's bring this back. So at this uh, frame, what will happen over here is we need to also animate this uh, toe. So if I just see this, yeah. So this is what the pose will be. So it will touch the ground, and we have that pose. So even the toe uh, will have that rotation for the toes. So it is touching the ground now properly and this is what we And what will happen to the body, it is little up 
So I need to make sure that even the body uh, control, I'll just select the position of this and Y axis. So move this along Y axis little up. This much. And again, next leg, I need to move it forward. So this is foot two. Just bring this forward and you see the shape of that leg over here also. So let's fix that. And again, the toe, I need to make sure that I'll just make it more bent, like this. Over here, the heel. How much you want to adjust toe? This yeah, so this is fine. This is fine and uh, whatever this is the uh, position which will move now so I can I can just copy the same pose for the other leg from here I can copy the pose for that position and uh, leg I can just move it so for this uh, foot also so we have the position also for this position also you need to give the key now to give the key I will not click it on this you have to go over here add and remove and click on this so that is the position key which will be adding for the leg. So when you start adding that control set. Yeah. So this is that leg position and for this leg, you can just see that for this leg there is, if any position is given, we have adjusted the position. Try to copy and paste at 10th frame the same uh, keys over here. So you can copy this leg key, control C, go to the 10th frame and select another foot, paste it. Okay. Now this keyframe you need to copy, control C, select this link and paste. Okay. So now we have all this uh, position also, so body also we need to do uh, the same keyframe. So how much I moved the body up, same copy that keyframe, control V, so even the body goes up. Okay. So whatever I am doing, the same pose will repeat here uh, and even the arms, whatever the arms you want to move it now. So even the hand control we need to work. So this is the hand which is going to come forward now and I need to make this hand pose the same way which is over here. So let's select this. So which is the hand which is back side, that is the hand which will uh, come over here. You can just see that and this is another hand. Uh, even that we need to animate it on it. So uh, we can just collect all these controls now. So select the hand control, this one. And how this hand will be uh, when it is coming back. Okay. So one hand will go back and you can just see the position of this hand over here. Uh, we can just switch on the top layer if you want to see it more properly. And this is what will happen over here. So you can just see this. So fourth frame, so this is the hand which is coming from back side and it is over here. So that is the passing pose, uh, how the hand will be and you can also see the wrist position, how it is down. Okay. Okay. So that is what we need to work on uh, this hand position now. So switch off the layers again and let's start working on this. So switch off this layer also. So I can just see more clearly which is this hand and let's select this hand position. This is hand 2, this is hand 1 and let's rotate that. So at 4th frame what should happen for this hand over here. So this should be more lifted, not that. So this is this hand. This will go up the wrist has to go down a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is what I need that pose. Even this can go up. Yeah. And for this hand it will go a little more back. So upper arm, this can be like that. And the wrist from whichever the direction it is coming I can rotate in the same direction. Now have this, I can now copy, control C, 10th frame is what I need to paste for the second hand, paste it, 
and this you need to copy control c and paste so that's what we'll be doing copying and pasting uh, this arms uh, during the passing pose and how the head position is there now so you can just see that head position and the neck position for this it is little straight okay so that is what i need to work on this now so for the 10th 4th and 10th uh, frame so let's go for the head head rotation uh, we also have the shoulder and this rotation let's make it little up given this head rotation yeah. okay. copy and paste now so the same cop keys i can copy uh, control c and this 10th frame paste so here there is no change uh, over here so i just need to paste it so i have done the passing pose now uh, now we need to work on the weight pose uh, this is the weight pose where the body goes down second frame so the body goes down and this will be automatically added in between so we don't have to work on this pose uh, for fine tuning purpose we can still work on that but uh, this is what now i need to work on this down pose and last we'll be working on this up pose over here this is the up and you can just see that how the leg is stretch how the body goes up and this is what the pose i'll be working on last so switch off now we'll just work on the down pose how this will work so switch on this layer and let's work on the down pose so press so at what frame we see the down pose at second frame only you'll be seeing the down pose and uh, adjust the layer position so where we see the down pose over here this is the down pose i need to match uh, where that leg is there right so exactly the same place so this So now select this leg, give the uh, control for that, what is this foot, this one, and it has to go a little down a little bit, it's touching and this should be zero, so let's make this value zero, even this should be zero, so it should be perfectly landing on the ground, is there any kind of rotation I have given? Yeah, so this is what will happen. So for this also, I just need to uh, rotate this heel back, move this leg down, and this body. So body also has to go down. So let's work on the body control. Only y-axis, make this turn. the system okay so i'm just moving the body down now so now we have all this uh, control the same thing it will work for copy this and after the seventh and eighth frame so make sure that body goes down and i need to make sure that everything is zero for this leg also so select this leg Toes become zero. It is properly landed on the ground. Even this, if any kind of rotation is there, I need to check for rotation of this layer. So this also make it zero. Yeah. So it is taking little time. For this also, little down. Heel can go back. Like this. That is fine. If you want to make it more back, you can just still adjust this one. So we got even this pose, the down pose is also there, so only the body goes down now. You can just see this. Yeah, so we have certain poses, only the four poses we didn't give the peak pose still, uh, but we can see that animation now. 
Let's preview that. Okay, so even the head rotation, I need to make sure that even the head, uh, I need to animate it over here because we didn't do any kind of head movement. So when the body goes down, uh, what I'll do is I just rotate the head little up. So this is the frame, I can rotate the head up little. Copy this keyframe and paste it. So you will see certain delay inside the head also over here. It goes down, then it goes up. So the second frame is what where the side can go back like this. So how much you want to give that copy it. And peak pose I need to work on now. So peak pose where the body is up in the air. So this is the last pose I will be working. And let's see the body rotation also in this pose. So when we have this uh, down pose, what here. So this is the place where I think little body is also little rotated back. Uh, not too much, but there is very little rotation. And this is a pose where the body is totally straight. So let's give little bit rotation for the body as well, not too much. So 17, copy the same key, paste at 8th frame. So little bit body movement also we can just see. Now let's work on this last pose uh, which is the up pose. So uh, the leg will be always touching on this ground uh, and it is stretched. The body goes to the peak position and this is what we need to work on this now. So this is the 5th frame, 5th frame what I need to work on this body. So the body goes up. The side this layer and I'll just keep that layer what is the bottom layer on and let's make that pose so change position of this again mm -hmm. and to work on this peak pose this one okay so you need to go to that particular frame over here yeah this is the position right so I need to make sure that I'll copy the uh, foot position over there for this leg so uh, it will be there only and it will be stretching up so this is the copy you can also copy at the same uh, frame next whatever the foot pose is there because next frame what is happening over here is it goes up so I don't want that to go up I just need the pose to be in the same place so let's move this to exactly the same place where it was yeah. Yeah, this is what it is so it is easy for me to move the leg now now go to the fifth frame yeah. so this leg which is going up i need to make sure that it is in the same position but it is stretched and the body goes up so this time press P not the hip control body control press P and this leg should be totally stretched up and how the body is moving press R let's make this body also move so it is this is the shape of that body, move this hip little forward. Little bit. Yeah. And this is what we need to adjust this up. Okay. So this is what we have and we can also adjust this curve over here also, so how this leg will go. And we have this pose, up peak pose. So the same leg position I can copy now uh, at 10th frame, which is over here. 10th and yeah. This is the pose, right? So which is that frame. You can just see the frame number over here. 
at what frame we need this passing force. I think 11th frame. So 11th frame, we need that uh, thing which is for here. So I'll just copy that now. Add this and go to the 11th frame. And this is where we need that same pose for that leg over here. So we can copy and paste. Uh, copy this frame from here, Control C. Select the another foot. Paste. So it will come at the same time and this one. I need to copy the same key for that also. So we have the body control. Press U. So you need to copy both the uh, frames, copy at fifth frame and paste it. Yeah. So again we got the same pose. Uh, for this leg also, whatever the keyframe was at fourth, fifth frame. So let's select that. Press U. And I just need to copy the same keyframe for this. So Control C and second foot. Go to the 11th frame and paste it. Yeah, so this is what I needed uh, for that poses. We can have this now. This thing, if you want to adjust that, that will up just to give this nice arc. I can adjust this tangents. Let's select this and let's play and check that animation. Hide this now. So we are done with all the poses. And let's select this. So play. So we have this little book picker. Okay, so even the head rotation, the blinking and all these things we need to work, but we have this uh, animation which is over here. So if I want to slow down the animation for overall uh, controls, right, we can just select all this keyframe now. So select everything. Mm -hmm. All the keyframes I'll just select, and if I wanted 24, 25 frames, uh, you can just hold Alt on your keyboard, left click, and then extend all the keyframes. So everything is moving now, and I'm slowing down the whole animation. Okay, so now I just made the whole animation uh, to one second animation, like 25 frames. Now let's see this. So it was too fast. So if I just want to make it slow, now we have a little bit of slow animation. Okay, so head rotation I feel little odd. Uh, so for this head rotation, whatever the head rotation is there, you can just work on that. Uh, now go for the only the head rotation. Now all this keyframe. So I, I don't like any of this. Just delete this keyframe. Delete this keyframe. I just want very less movement for the head. So when the body is down, mm -hmm. right, you can move it up a little bit. When the body is in peak pose, it can be a little down. Okay, so copy the same keyframe, Control C, Control V. This is fine. So I can adjust the keyframe little, copy this again and uh, timing I can adjust it and paste it. I need to give easy ease also for everything. So let's see this now. So very subtle movement is enough, uh, we don't have to give too much uh, movement for the head. Now I just need to give easy ease for everything. And I feel that this uh, movement, uh, this where the body goes up, uh, I don't want this to move in X axis. Uh, the body is moving too much forward over here. 
in this x axis so i need to make sure that this goes copy the same keyframe control c for here paste it it is down i just want to move it in up y position that's it because uh, it is a cycle i don't want that to move in any of this x axis only y axis i'll make it copy again mm -hmm. and go to this frame where the body moves forward little paste it yeah, so this is what it is moving too much uh, forward uh, this keyframe so we have to make sure that the uh, body doesn't move forward so this one this one this is too much height over here so i need to make sure that the body is little down so this should be touching the ground this frame seven is fine i think that this is what it is so copy this control c and 19 7 and 19 this And copy and paste the same keyframe. So this uh, this shift will look bad. So uh, copy this, Control C, Control, and move this little up. here also copy the same keyframe control c control v and just adjust this body position up yes sir. let's play this so i don't want the body to move forward and this is what i do yeah so body is in the same place, uh, it doesn't move forward or backward, this is what I need to animate now. Okay, so now what we can do is we can, uh, anyway this is a loop, uh, now what we can do is we can just animate something in the background uh, to make it feel like some kind of buildings are there in the background and that moves uh, when he is running. So for that you can create some kind of shape layers and I can just animate it to just give the loop uh, animation. So let's add some kind of background for that. So this is what we have the background right now. So I want to add some kind of buildings. So shape layer, just bring it down. And this is what I need to repeat uh, it over here. So anything, any kind of environment, you can just take it and you can just move it back. So for now, I can just create some basic. Shape and let's give some kind of color for this. So that. And inside this only, just add some kind of windows or doors just to show that as a building and the same thing which you can do you can just duplicate the same shape layer And I'll just make this position, bring it down a little. And let's have a copy of the uh, same buildings over here. So I can just duplicate the same building, go to pivot point, adjust this over here. And it should be repeating. So what I'll do is I'll just make over here one building. Press P. So this is there, control D and let's move this another building over here, in this corner. Uh, 
and we can just have a uh, duplicate copies of this. So this is one composition, Control Shift C, or you can also edit uh, layer, and you have something called pre-compose. So I'll just make as a group. So this is like buildings. Yes, and it becomes a single layer. It, uh, both the become both the buildings become a single layer. Now I can uh, duplicate the copies of this Control D. And let's move it far. So this much far, you can just have this building. So one more copy of it, Control D. And I just want to make it more towards left. So this is the background which I am creating which will be uh, same. Let's fix that. Yeah. And all these three layers what you can do is you can parent to a null object. Let's animate a null object over here. And parent all these three building to this null object. And then I will be moving this null object uh, position. Give the position key for this. So only in x-axis. Let's move this back. And I need to move this uh, building layer uh, below all the layers. So I need to make sure that I switch on the shine layer and adjust it. So let's fix this first frame. Let's move. And give the position key, and in the last, I just want to move it towards the right. Mm -hmm. So, what will happen? The building will be moving backwards. Mm -hmm. This. And uh, all this building layer, what you have to do is you have to put it below that shape layer. So, control and open square bracket, I can move like this. So it should be below all your shape layers, whatever the characters we have, all the bone layers, shape layers. Just bring it below all these layers. Yeah, we have the shape layers which is over here. So below all the shape layers, we need to move the building, pelvis, and all this. Okay, so below the background, above the background layer, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so now again switch off the shy layer and if I just check that, uh, for all this building what you can do is you can give some kind of motion blur. Uh, so here we have something motion blur. You can also enable in the layer, so switch on this and enable this also over here. Now if I just check that, so it is having that blurness for all this building. If I just start playing that over here. Just moving with too fast motion, so that building uh, movement I can make it slow down uh, over here. So it is too fast. So that building position you adjust it towards left according to the movement of this character over here. So we can just reduce that movement, and now we can just see this. Now we'll have. Still it is fast, so just slow it down in the back side again, just slow this little more down towards left. So this I can fix it and it will be looped, uh, so first frame, again you just check, so I just want to make sure that this is, this building and this are at the same position. So it will look like some kind of loop.
okay so if you have that uh, this thing uh, something in the background uh, it will look like uh, something which is moving over there otherwise it will be like he will be in the same place so either i can move the character forward or mm -hmm. i can animate the background uh, in the opposite direction so that will be easy so character will be working in the same place and only the background you start animating so for the background you need to make it little bit of bigger background so if the composition is 192010080 so background should be uh, multiplied by this three times uh, if you want to make it more white uh, you can make the background little bit of more white so you can see that he is uh, we can move the uh, image more properly okay okay so it will be easy uh, so for that now we have this and for this also if you want to add some kind of motion blur you have to just enable the motion blur for all yeah. this shape layers yeah. Okay, so select all the shape layers, face, everything over here. Mm -hmm. And here you have this dots which is called motion blur. So enable that also. So once I click, and this should be on. Uh, if you want to see that, if it is not on, you won't be able to see motion blur. Okay. Yeah. So this switch also should be on. So now it is done. Now let's see this. Here we have some nice motion blur for that character. Okay, so now we have done the animation only for 25 frames. So what if you want to extend the animation for more frames? Uh, we can also do the loop for that animation or I'll just render that as a with a background, transparent background and then I'll just uh, uh, bring it back for loop. So I'll just show you this how we can just do that now once done. No, since motion blur is on, it will take more time for the rain. Yeah. This takes time. Okay. So now, uh, suppose this is the character and you want this character to be with a different background. So what we can do is we can render with some kind of transparency over here. So I will hide all this background layer. Suppose you want to use that uh, uh, character in a different scene. So you can render and keep that character uh, into some other file uh, and I can just bring that over here. So for that, uh, what you can do is we can just see this now, it is having the transparent background. So let's render this, go to composition, add to render queue. This time what I will do is if you are uh, rendering with QuickTime and you want a transparency for that, you can just click on it over here and change it into animation. So when you want with the transparency, so you need to change the video codec to animation. Sometimes uh, other format won't support. And here you need to choose RGB plus alpha when you are using that. So if you can just see that this format won't support. When I change to animation and press OK. And here it will support RGB plus alpha. That means the transparency it is supported by this particular video format. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, otherwise it will not show the transparency uh, you will render with some kind of black background so you need to make sure that when you are rendering you choose this RGB plus alpha if you are rendering an image sequence so here also I can go for PNG so PNG will support transparency or you can also go for TIFF TIFF will support transparency A JPEG image sequence will not support transparency if it is JPEG it supports either RGB or alpha uh, only but it doesn't support any kind of transparency or that. RGB plus alpha will have the transparency. So let's use PNG, PNG sequence, sequence and press OK. And I just need to render this, okay, so let's render that on my desktop and name it as run cycle. And give the name also for this run underscore and let's render this okay so now it is rendering uh, the image sequence first 
okay so it will uh, do like 25 frames it will render in that folder and i can import that uh, sequence into after effects and i can extend it to however the uh, frame i want that now so let's see this now and it is rendering as a each sequence so if i just double click open that image run cycle and here we can just see that as a sequence okay so if i just import now it is having 25 frames uh, as a sequence over here. But while rendering, what I have done is Control D. Uh, let's check that whether we have choose RGB plus alpha or not. So we didn't choose RGB plus alpha. So whatever this render is, it is coming with black background. So you need to make sure that you choose RGB plus alpha while rendering. Now let's save this and this is what I to replace on the top of that same again. Just overwrite this image sequence again and save it and render it. So once I overwrite that, it will have the transparency also. So I can place whatever the background I want uh, for this animation. Now to reload the image, you can just right click reload footage over here. So you can reload the same footage again. You can just see that. And again, so if you want to import and check, go to file, import, and we can just see now it is having the transparency also with it. It is not having black background, it is having the transparency, this image. Now create a new composition for how many duration you want. Suppose I want for 4 seconds. So I'll just make it 200 uh, duration for that. Now it is more time. Now if I just drag and drop this, uh, whatever the render I have done. Okay, so that. So that render is only for 25 frames, we can just say. After that, there is nothing in over here. Okay? But you want the animation to be for 4 seconds or something. So what you can do is you can right click, interpret footage, main. And here you can just see that there is an option called loop. Mm -hmm. So how many times you want to repeat that same animation? Suppose if I want to repeat by 10 times. Now it will repeat the whole animation 10 times. Okay, so you just do the animation for one second and you have the whole duration of this for around, you can see. Okay. It keeps on running. So that is why the cycles will be used. So this is called run cycle and we can keep on doing that animation. Now if I just want to move the position of this animate the position of this towards from left to right mm -hmm. around 100 frame it goes out of the frame suppose like this and if you just want to check that goes okay so now you choose whatever the background you want to add it so you can just add some solid layers now you can add some road you want to add now it is up to you how you want to add just that and it will have the same moment for that and it keeps doing that now again it has to come back so control shift d so what will happen when i press uh, control d over here uh, it will duplicate when you want to split control shift d uh, since the recording is on, it is opening the shortcut for that. Uh, you can just use that. So this is one character. Another character you want on the back side again. So select that. Scale it. You want at a different position for that. Both the characters. Okay, this has to be behind this and for that also you can just animate the position of that character P. Position. I just want to make it more faster. It goes out. Okay, so you can use whatever the how many characters you want inside the scene. 
Now this is what we have. So now if you want to change the color of that uh, over here, so we can just select this layer, go to effect, color correction, and here we have something called hue saturation. So if I just use this hue, you can just change uh, this whole character color. But if you want to choose a little bit of single color for that, so you can go to effect, color correction, you have something over here called uh, selective color correction you want to do we can just do using that selective color correction or i can use this change to color so pick this color and you want to change to which color you want to change it so let's select this so i want to change to that color so i just change that to different characters with two different colors Okay. okay. So you need to do the uh, submission for that character walk and run also. Okay. So yeah, any doubt in this? Hello. Are you there? Yeah, I can't hear you. Okay. Okay, then fine. Uh, so work on this, and you need to submit this animation uh, also. Okay. Okay, then see you.